Let me ask you a question. Is it smart to get a job at a fast food place making $15 an hour? Or is it smart to go to college for years, go into debt, and then finally potentially get a decent paying job? Well, the answer is that for some people, these are definitely the best paths and society would completely fall apart without these types of people. That being said, if you're anything like me and you're watching this video, neither of those options probably sound appealing to you. So in this video, I wanna show you what is in my opinion, the smartest way to get to $10,000 per month and hopefully present to you an alternative to a lot of the different options that you've heard about out there. And luckily with the internet, there's so much possibility out there for making money online. The following things I'm about to say, I'm not bragging when I say these things. I think this is relevant information if you're watching this video. I personally have made over $5 million online and I currently make over $100,000 per month. Now, obviously I'm really young. I'm 22 years old. I know I look like I'm 12. That being said, the reason that I'm saying this is that I'm not the smartest person in the world by any means. And if I can do this, what's stopping you from making an extra $10,000 a month online? Now I've tried a ton of different business models and I found what I personally believe to be the smartest and best one, but the smartest path for you is going to depend on who you are. And everybody's different, but I'm going to try to give you as uniform of an answer as I possibly can that relates to the most amount of people who are watching this video. Now you've probably seen a bunch of YouTube videos talking about how to make money online. And if you've watched any of these videos, you've probably heard of something called SMMA, also known as a social media marketing agency. This is basically where a company pays you a monthly fee where you manage their social media. Now, while this can work, anybody who's actually tried this and put work into doing this can tell you that oftentimes it is not as easy as people make it out to be. It can be pretty difficult to actually find clients. You sometimes have to deal with bad clients as well. The margins definitely are not always huge. And there's a lot of competition by proxy of all these YouTube videos talking about this. Now that's not to say that SMMA can't work by any means. There's a ton of people making tons of money with it. But that being said, it's not as high leverage as I personally would like. And for that reason, it's not the smartest way in my opinion. Now, next up, you may have heard of something called freelancing. This is basically where a company or a person pays you to do some work for them online. Now, this can definitely work. I personally pay freelancers tens of thousands of dollars per month, every single month. But at the end of the day, you're trading your time for money. And while this might be a good way to start making some money online, if you have a skill, you're limited to yourself. You have to actually have a skill in the first place and it can definitely be hard to find clients. So in my opinion, not the smartest way. Now you've probably seen a lot of YouTube videos out there talking about real estate and how it's the best way to make money. And there's definitely a lot of advantages in real estate. For example, you have tax advantages and it can actually be a great investment over time. But that's exactly the problem. It usually takes a long time to get a return on your investment and you typically have to actually have a lot of money to invest. It can sometimes be time consuming, dealing with tenants and maintenance issues and all these things eat into your profits and it's not a liquid asset so you can't convert it to cash easily. And now there's no doubt in my mind that if you watch videos about how to make money online, you've heard of e-commerce. This is basically where you sell some type of physical product online and you buy or source it from somewhere cheaper than you eventually sell it. And there's tons of people who make millions of dollars per year with e-com, but in my opinion, it's not the smartest. And that's because it's highly competitive. It can be hard to find the right niche. It can be hard to find the right products. You typically need some kind of upfront budget for marketing. And so what a lot of people do is they get into something called drop shipping. This is where you basically find a product for sale on one website and then you list that product before ever buying or sourcing the product yourself and you only actually buy the product to get shipped out to the customer, essentially acting as a middleman when someone buys the product from your page. And just to be real, the profit margins typically aren't huge doing this. And most people who talk about making money with drop shipping only show their gross revenue. And this is their top line, but we have no idea how much profit they actually made. For example, if you spend 50,000 to make 50,000, that 50 grand is only a vanity metric and you didn't make any profit. And if the sales stop when the marketing stops and there's no profit, it doesn't matter in my opinion. Now the theme with any of these business models is that yes, any single one of them can work. You'll find examples of people making a lot of money with each of these every single month. That being said, none of these are the smartest way to make $10,000 per month in my opinion. Now you may have noticed if you watch any of those videos talking about any of those different business models is that all of those people are doing one thing in common. They're all making videos. And it's sad to say, but oftentimes the people making videos on those side hustles aren't actually doing doing them themselves, but they're making a ton of money making videos about those side hustles. And yes, that is totally wrong, but at the same time, it gives us a hint 
as to the best way to make $10,000 a month. Now let's talk about if you're introverted. If you're introverted, it typically means you probably don't wanna get in front of a camera and film videos. And that's actually totally fine. And you can still make a ton of money with this smartest way that I'm about to show you. And if you couldn't tell already, the smartest way to make $10,000 a month online, in my opinion, is by uploading content. And the best place to upload content, in my opinion, is YouTube. And you're probably asking, Matt, how do I upload content onto YouTube if I'm an introvert, if I don't wanna get in front of a camera and film videos? Well, I'm an introvert myself, and I actually run over a dozen different YouTube channels, most of which I never even show my face, including the channel that got me this play button right here for getting over 1 million subscribers. And take a look at this channel called Body Hub. They get millions of views per month just talking about health stuff. And for their videos, they just use completely free stock footage. And if you're looking for places to get free stock footage that you can use within your YouTube videos, here's a giant list. Feel free to screenshot this. We'll just scroll through them real quick. You can use any of these places to get completely free stock footage for your videos and not have to worry about copyright concerns. And then basically you just write an original script and then you record it using the audio recorder on your phone. And then you can edit the videos together using any of these free video editors right here, depending on what type of device you're using. You can even do the editing directly on your phone as well. And then basically you just need good thumbnails, which are essentially cover images that entice people to watch your video. And these free software, including paint.net, Canva, and Snappa, you can actually use to create those thumbnails. And the way that you make money doing this is that YouTube actually puts ads on your videos. And then every single time someone views an ad on your video, you get paid a little bit of money. And that can add up when you start getting hundreds of thousands, if not millions of views on your channels. Like I said, I currently run over a dozen different YouTube channels and every single one of them have a huge backlog of videos uploaded on them. And each of those videos and each of those channels pay me every single month. So going back to that channel Body Hub right there, they get 2.9 million views per month. I'd estimate they make around $8 per thousand views. That equates to $23,000 a month, not bad. And imagine you have multiple channels all making you consistent revenue no matter what you're doing in your life. Whether you're awake, you're sleeping, you're traveling, you're doing stuff that you love. And imagine having consistent money coming in to pay for whatever you wanna pay for in your life. And what's so epic about YouTube is that you upload the videos one time and those videos live forever potentially on YouTube. And I still make money from videos I uploaded eight years ago while I was still in high school. And like I said, I started this as a teenager, so age doesn't matter either. Now, if you're more extroverted and you have no problem at all getting in front of a camera and recording videos, then I would recommend creating a personal channel. I'd find a skill that you either know about or you'd like to learn more about. I learn more than most people within that skill and you literally just have to know 1% more than most people. And then I'd make an online course on that subject, which is just a collection of videos teaching that skill. And then I'd sell it from the channel. And the math works out really well on this because you don't need tons of views to potentially make a ton of money from YouTube if you're selling a course. And to illustrate that with this channel you're watching right here called Make Money Matt, I literally make more money from this channel than my faceless channels, which get millions upon millions of views per month. And the reason that is, is because I'm selling a course course, which teaches people how to grow on YouTube. And like I said, I'm an introvert. This doesn't come naturally to me at all to be like talking to a camera like this. I really do have to like get out of my comfort zone, but I do think it is a worthwhile skill to have because not only can you provide value to people and help them, hopefully I'm helping you with this video right here, but it can also be very lucrative for you as well. Now let's talk about if you have more time than money or you have more money than time. Well, if you have more time than money, then what I personally would recommend is you make the videos yourself and you upload them yourself. This gives you the added benefit of having a 100% profit margin. You don't have to waste any money and you can use that available time that you do have to put into this business model to make the best videos you possibly can and upload them. But if you're the opposite where you don't have hardly any time but you do have some money, then what you can actually do is hire people to make the videos for you. This is actually how I run over a dozen different YouTube channels. There's no way in the world I'd be able to do it without the team that I hire from places like Upwork.com. And in my course, Tube Mastery and Monetization, I give job post templates, how much to pay people, and I show you step-by-step -step me hiring people so you know how to do it correctly. So if you're seriously considering doing YouTube, feel free to check that out down in the description below. And now let's talk about if you have neither time nor money. If this is the case, then it's likely you have some type of other obligation in your life. For example, a full-time job that takes up most of your time or you're going to school still. And when I started YouTube, I was still in school. 
and I'm not gonna lie, it was incredibly difficult to balance everything out. And much to my both teachers and parents' dismay, I kind of put school on the back burner on many occasions, and I focused as much as I could on YouTube. And looking back on it, hindsight is 2020. I think I made the right decision one million times over now, but back when I was making that decision, there was a lot of times I second guessed myself. I wondered if this was even gonna pan out in any sort of way. But looking back on it, I'm so grateful that I took the actions that I did. And now you don't have to do YouTube if you don't want to. There's tons of options out there that are available. Feel free to choose the path that calls out to you the most. But I just hope that I can give you another option to add to your arsenal. YouTube is the thing that got me to making more money than my parents while I was still in school. And now more money than I could dream of today. And YouTube is the smartest way to make $10,000 a month in my opinion, because because it is super high leverage. You do the work one time and that can continue to pay you for a long time. You basically plant the seeds once, but they don't just harvest once, they continue to keep harvesting over time. And here's a free 60 day YouTube challenge that you can use to get your channel growing super fast. Feel free to screenshot this to help you with your journey. And now check out this video right here to see what is in my opinion, the laziest way to make money online right now. If you like smart work over hard work, just like me, you'll get a ton of value from this video right here. It'll show you exactly how to do it and I'll see you there.